you and I have talked about this um, privately for the last couple of weeks or months. You've texted me, you know, we've chatted and said, wouldn't that be amazing if they did? And I know not all the Trump supporters are big fans of RFK, and I know some of the RFK fans are not big supporters of Donald Trump. However, the alternative, as you heard in that soundbite clip, his running mate say, the alternative is a Kamala Walls ticket, which would ruin this country. So we gotta have some unity here with your guy and all of our guy, right? Trump, Kennedy. They need to come together Friday. Is that what's going to happen? You know the guy. Well, I can tell you that um, Donald Trump and um, Bobby Kennedy will change uh, the dynamics in this political race. And I do believe that they'll win. Um, I've talked a lot to Bobby. I'm good friends with him. And I've been encouraging this from the beginning, Dan. I mean, I was in... Um, Boston with him. He called me before he ran and asked for my support. And of course, as a good friend, I would, I, I, I'm doing everything I can to help him. I was there with him when he announced live streaming it on our Instagram, which was so much fun. Um, but I have been hinting to him that I would love to see them both together. I know our followers, which are millions of people, are so confused because I'm also friends with the Trump family and I've supported him as well. So um, they've asked for me to make a statement, which I had early on about how I felt like we all needed to support both Donald Trump and Kennedy and the dream ticket would be them together. We're hearing positive things from Donald Trump. Now Bobby's gonna be in Phoenix at the same time. We that know what Trump that means, Charlene. Come on, Trump's team's putting with special guest. You don't right. get two political presidential candidates in the same town unless it's the right. ones running against each other and they're at separate right. venues trash talking. This is the two of them coming together for, I hope, the sake of this country and, and, and Bobby, your friend, putting his full-throated endorsement like Elon did behind Trump. Because let's be real, Elon said it multiple times in that spaces the other night. He's like, I'm a Democrat. Everybody knows I'm a Democrat, yet I'm endorsing Donald J. Trump. You know, uh, Trump and him don't agree on everything, just like Bobby and Trump don't agree on everything. You know, I've got an issue with your friend's stance on guns. Uh, and abortion. But I love that he's against vaccines, against big government, all the corruption, trying to clean up all the alphabet agencies. So there's several things I like about Bobby and there's several things I don't. But I appreciate that he sees he doesn't have a pathway to victory. And the only way to keep a communist out of the White House is to back President Trump. Would you agree with that assessment? Well, I think, it, it, yes, in part. Here's, here's the thing. The DNC has is rigged and they're going after the cheating and they've pushed them out and, and it's just so criminal what they've done to this campaign. And by the way, you know, I, I had a problem and I texted Bobby when he came out with, with a statement that really was hard for me to hear him say when he, he said that he was okay with abortion to full term. He's not the gun grabber that everybody's framing him to be. I just want to make that clear. Okay. Uh, but well, Sheldon, you thing. know him better than probably any pundit that's been on TV talking about him. You guys have been friends, what, 20, 30 years? Right, a long time. And yeah. Bobby's coming in, as we're hoping, I am rooting for, as my substack says, HHS, head of HHS. There's a lot of money there. There's a lot of power there. And Bobby has the ability to get in there and clean house and really um, revitalize the, the uh, health institutions and the way that we take care of our health here as a nation, Donald Trump and Bobby Kennedy coming together will win and they will save America. You know, I think with, with Bobby's following from libertarians, from independents, from Democrats like he is, that are disgusted with what the party has become, this radical, socialist, almost borderline Marxist communist party, they're with him. And then, of course, there's never Trumpers that think Trump did this wrong, that wrong, says this, bad tweets. And so for all those folks, when they see Bobby come over and say, I'm with this guy. This is who can save the country. I think that's an amazing thing. And I hope Friday that's what we see. That's what I'm hearing from my sources. Obviously, you hear it right from the direct source. So I think Friday we're going to see something pretty magical 